Hello and welcome to an evening edition of Dolly Digest. I'm Craig Thompson and like many volunteers I have been down at the Giant Axe today helping prepare the ground for the new season. First of all thank you to everyone who made it today. We didn't quite get everything done we wanted to outside because of the rain but plenty was done in the changing room and in the main stand. It's been a very good week to be a Lancaster City supporter as we have announced three big players who have been retained by manager Chris Wilcock. I can't think of a better dead ball specialist in the MPL Premier Division than skipper Sam Bailey, who took over the armband during the season. He's staying with us. His throw-ins always give the Dolly Blues players a chance in the box. He even started putting in corners left-footed during this past season. He amassed 13 assists for teammates from right back and scored six goals. What's more, several of them came in key games where we only won by one goal, thinking about the likes of Macclesfield away, Bradford Park Avenue away, and Gainsborough Trinity at home. Sam's brother Charlie is also remaining with us. Now, I don't know this for fact, so don't take this as gospel, but I'd be staggered if there hasn't been lots of interest in him since the end of the season. One of the most skillful players in the NPL, he scored huge goals for the Dolly Blues and seems to score two types of goals. Either it's one from close range where good position and movement has bought him some space, such as against Hyde or Baseford, or those long-range hits from the edge of the box against Ilkeston, Macclesfield and Radcliffe. The third player to stay at the Giant Axe is Nick Evangelinos. And now, any longer-suffering listener of Dolly Blue Sand will know how much I admire Nick and his ability. There are times when the ball is just glued to his foot and he glides past defenders uh, with sharp turns and he's very difficult to knock off the ball. He had an injury hit season, suffering a broken leg in January at Atherton, uh, missing around four months of action. Came back in time to score the winner at home to Atherton Collieries. Uh, he was top goal scorer in his first season, scored seven in 23-24, and will be looking for more goals in his third campaign. Next week on Saturday, we have another volunteer day from 9am. We hope for slightly better weather. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.